one final chance to prove you have what it takes to avoid elimination and relegation in the final event of the showdown in 2023. If you are in the bottom four after this event, you will automatically go to the showdown next year. You will not have a chance to compete in the Marble League qualifiers to make it to the big show. Some pretty nervous teams down there on the bottom for everybody else. They are hoping that their performance today will keep them out of those bottom four spots. And some of the ones up toward the top of the order, they're hoping they can win this showdown overall. Hey, everybody. I'm Greg Woods. Of course, winning the showdown is mostly for bragging rights, but it carries good momentum into the offseason. And you see the marble choices for this run. A lot of reserves, six of them in the lineup and just one captain. Of course, the starting grid was set by the finishing order of the San Marble Rally one event ago, but teams are free to choose different marbles if they wish to compete in this Grand Prix style event. Murky is up front next to Skip. Lights are on. The final event of the showdown is ready. And we're rolling and Skip gets the jump and heads it into turn one in the lead. Before they even got to that first turn, that was a great move by the Jungle Jumpers. Balls of Chaos trying to stay close with the Hazers, who I think were surprised to lose out right there. And they lose out on another spot. Team Primary pinballs around as well as they are behind Cobalts, Blackjacks, Indigo Stars, Green Ducks, and Turtle Sliders. Here comes Team Primary through the Honeycomb. That lead is gone for Jungle Jumpers. Adding insult to injury, they whacked the curb coming out of the honeycomb and lost even more spots. Here's the battle for the lead, and Balls of Chaos are well behind Team Primary, but they do get up into second place over the Cobalts as they come up the belt. Here comes Team Primary through the B-Dance now for the second time. Where did the Jungle Jumpers fall? Down the bottom half of the order. Green Ducks also fell precipitously. In fact, they are in dead last. Team Primary navigating through the honeycomb once again. Nice job there, Indigo Stars. They made up a couple of spots as they came through there. Now they are chasing the Cobalts. Blackjacks are right behind. Balls of Chaos are two lengths back of them. Then you gotta go a little ways back, and then it's Jungle Jumpers. They have been recovering and slowly working their way up the order. But wow, after that great start, going backwards like that, I think left them in a state of disbelief. They have to get their head right and get back into this one. Team Primary holding a lead here on lap number three. Rima is that marble who slowly sees the Cobalt's Royal. That's Team Captain closing in, but Royal bumping off of the walls, loses some speed, and perhaps misses the opportunity to overtake down here on the start-finish stretch. Hazers have also come back up. They are now in third. Indigo Stars fourth. Jungle Jumpers now back up into fifth. Oceanics, Blackjacks, Balls of Chaos, Purple Rockets, Limers, Chocolatiers, Turtle Sliders, Wolfpack, Minty Maniacs, Green Ducks, and the Solar Flares rounding out the field. This is a nice battle here between the Hazers and Indigo Stars. That's Murky, the Reserve, and Diego. That gap up front for Team Primaries come down, and that was a great move through the chicane, heading into the Honeycomb. The Cobalts have P1. That area was so good for Team Primary when they made that move earlier to take the lead, but they were just caught off guard there. Hazers getting a little space over Indigo Stars, but not much. It's still only two or three lengths, maybe a little more through some corners. Oceanics, they need a great result here to try to avoid being relegated. Here's the battle contact between them. Indigo Stars go backward. Hazers shoot off into the distance, and now the Limers are trying to capitalize. The Limers are now also being hounded by the aforementioned Oceanics, but they stay lockstep as they come out of the honeycomb. Hazers across the line here with a bit of a gap behind them. Several steps between them and Indigo Stars. The Stars are in contention here. One of several teams who up top they feel decently safe. And mathematically, some of them cannot be eliminated. Cobalt's lead is pretty good as we see from this aerial view. That was great timing for me to say. That team primary is holding it second with a big margin back behind and now three wide they nearly go. Indigo Stars come out on top and they get by the Hazers who bumped against the wall too much. And now Indigo Stars are holding in third spot. Side by side right there, the Hazers were battling with the Limers as they come up the belt. Who gets the better launch over the start finish line? It is the Hazers narrow through that section and it only gets more technical as they descend through this figure eight waggle there we take a look at team primary meandering just a bit 
perhaps peeking over the shoulder to check back and see where the Indigo Stars are, but you can't do too much of that because the Stars are going to get by. They're particularly strong through this area, and you can see that lead coming down. Limers, they go wide against the Hazers, and I believe briefly had the spot. Yes, they do. Oceanics also get by. Now the Oceanics, they had a bit of contact with the Limers. And look at everybody, only a couple of steps apart as they come up the belt. This battle in the midfield is a great one. A lot of points up for grabs, and that could mean the difference between you getting to qualify for the Marble League next year and being relegated to the showdown with no chance at all. Cobalt, they are leading by a mile. That's Royal. Royal has some pretty good experience here at the Honey Dome. Primary and Indigo Stars, they each have a nice cushion around them as well. Then it's the Limers. Several lengths back, Solar Flares have climbed up. They've even gotten by the Hazers. Solar Flares are running a good race right now. Slow and steady, climbing up the order. Chocolatiers, they get by the Wolfpack, and they are now in the mix. You see some contact as they try to get by the Hazers, and they do. In fact, they make a dive bomb move past the Solar Flares as well, and now they're lining up for the Limers. Here's a look at second place, Team Primary. Indigo Stars are now feeling some pressure from the Limers. Chocolatiers continue their march. Solar Flares have stalled out for a couple of laps here. Lap 10. Indigo Stars closing the door for the Limers as they briefly had a look into turn one. The laps are ticking down, only a few remaining in the showdown and in this race. There's Team Primary, second, third, fourth, and fifth now. Chocolatiers making a move, trying to get third. Chocolatiers want a podium, and it's within sight. In fact, those gaps have come way down between second and third. Chocolatiers have a nice chance here, perhaps to get second place. Cobalts will continue to pound away up front with their Captain Royal. Chocolatiers try to make the inside move there. There is Royal. On the final lap, swinging around through the honeycomb for the final time. Royal slows up and takes a bit of a circuitous route there. The gap is coming down, but it's not going to be enough. Cobalts are going to win the Honey Dome Grand Prix. Chocolatiers do get second place. What a march. Indigo Stars get third. Team Primary back in fourth. Solar Flares, then the Limers. Oh, a battle to the line there with the Hazers losing out to the Jungle Jumpers. Man, did they fall over the course of this one. So did the Oceanics. Turtle Sliders are down there. Purple Rockets dead last behind the Blackjacks. Well, the Cobalts needed a good result here, and they got it. Cobalts win with Royal by over two seconds. Chocolatiers and Indigo Stars round out the podium. 15 seconds between the leader and last place Purple Rockets. And look at that margin between the Blackjacks and the Purple Rockets. That is not the finish that they wanted. And so the teams celebrate both the end of a fun event and the end of a great competition in the showdown. Look at the different lines coming through the honeycomb there. This was a great move to take the lead at the time, navigating that chicane perfectly. And I would say everybody witnessed one heck of a race and an incredible competition overall. The team comes together to celebrate on the podium because right there, you are looking at the winners of the showdown, the Indigo Stars, capture the trophy. Yes, that guarantees that they will not have to go straight to the showdown next year. They have a chance to qualify for the big one, the Marble League. For now, they're going to take it easy. They're going to rest, and they are going to celebrate for quite some time. Scenes inside the locker room. we got some bee friends in there. The Indigo Stars do it. 82 to 77 over the Chocolatiers. Then it's the Green Ducks, but look at who is eliminated. The Cobalts, they actually jumped pretty well out of relegation, but it's Minty Maniacs, Blackjacks, Purple Rockets, and dead last is the Oceanics. They are going to have to do some soul searching in the offseason. 
what went wrong here. A lot of jubilation in the showdown, but several teams are wondering what could have been. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. So long.